Hey guys and girls, if any are watching, uh, don't want to leave anybody out. Uh, got another little stack of books to show you. Uh, some from uh, were already in my collection from the mess you see behind you. Uh, like I say, we're getting ready to go uh, through a move, so uh, I'll have a better place to show you this stuff later on. But I got a little hodgepodge of stuff again. Got some uh, Silver Edge Marvel, some uh, Silver and Bronze DC. Got a couple Dells in here. Uh, a little. Uh, a little bit of everything. But let's get to it. Uh, I know a lot of guys are huge Kirby fans, and I'm a huge Kirby fan, and uh, one of my favorites, uh, you know, obviously was Commanding and then OMAC. Uh, but in the early 90s, John Byrne did a four issue miniseries of OMAC, and that was one of the best stories I thought he ever did. I mean, uh, the book is all in black and white. Uh, I went to the Mid Ohio Con a few years ago, and I had him sign a, a different copy. Of this and I said, uh, why don't you do more of this stuff? And he said, why don't you write to DC? And I was like, okay, well, I'll do that. <laughs> but anyway, I uh, just want to show you these. Uh, this is number one. And like I say, all the art in this is just great. Uh, I think a lot of uh, a lot of stuff gets lost when uh, you put the color in it. That's why I'm such a fan of the black and white stuff. But uh, this is a great story, especially if you like time travel stories, and I'm a sucker for time travel stories. So this is a, it's a great series. Okay. Uh, number two. Sorry about the glare. Uh, Number three and number four. Okay, I have a couple uh, Bronze Age books from DC. Here's a Phantom Stranger 15, Neil Adams cover. This is a great series. This was one of the first ones I started reading from DC in the 70s. Got Jim Aparo art in it, uh, Alex Toth, who's a legend, and uh, Tony DeZuniga, uh, who we just recently lost. Uh, he did a series called Doctor 13 in this, I think, and he was one of the main artists on Jonah Hex. Okay. Here's number 19. Again, it's uh, Neil Adams' cover. More Jim Aparo interiors. Uh, more Alex Toth in this one. Uh, These are really great reads. Okay, and here's a couple of Dells I picked up at a flea market in Tennessee a while back. Uh, just fun little covers. They were just a buck a piece. So. Woody Woodpecker. Andy Panda. Okay, some more obscure romance. Some Marvel, Higher Love Story number 13. Uh, this is one of the square bound books. Uh, I think this is uh, John Mishima on the cover. I think uh, John Romita did a story in the back. And a few westerns. Mighty Marvel Western number 19. Uh, Gil King cover. I think it's got some uh, Dick Ayers and John Severin art in there. I just love these old picture frame covers. Ringo Kid number 10. I think, uh, Marie Severin did the cover on that uh, and the interiors, I believe. But another great cover. And Weird Western Tales number 14. <coughs> Excuse me. Jonah Hex. And Tony does a good cover. Just love the colors on that. It's awesome. 
I picked this one up for like a buck. Okay. X Men King Size Special number one, which is actually the first annual. Uh, a Kirby cover. Like, uh, there's a reprint in here X Men vs. Avengers and uh, The Origin of the Stranger. Pretty decent shape. Big Avengers fan. I'm trying to complete my run on the original series of that. Uh, okay, number 61. Okay, I think this story is continued from uh, Doctor Strange uh, 178, I think. Uh, yeah, and this is John Bushima art on the cover and the interiors. Number 62. More John Bashima, Black Panther and Man Ape. There we go. Get the glare out of it. These are all pretty high grade. Okay. Number 63. I guess this is kind of a key issue. Uh, I think the Wasp and uh, Ant-Man return to active duty, and I think uh, he goes from being, well, I think uh, Hawkeye takes the serum in this issue, and uh, Hawkeye becomes Goliath, and Goliath becomes Yellowjacket. I've got my moral history straight. But this is the first of a three issue run that Gene Cohen did. So it's a great cover. It's great interiors. Uh, I think he did like a 63 through 65 for this. Okay. Tales to Astonish 100. Another classic cover. I think it was uh, Marie Severin. I think she was one of Marvel's really underrated artists. Her and John Severin. I think John was her brother, maybe. I'm not sure. But she did the cover and the interiors on this. Uh, I think in this issue, uh, Submariner's trying to uh, enlist the Hulk in his war against mankind, and uh, of course the Puppet Master interferes, and uh, got Hulk under mind control, and the melee ensues. That's another great book. I think I sh had shown this book in a, one of my earlier videos. I just upgraded a copy of this, but this is Haunted Number One, uh, Charlton. This is all Ditko. And I'm trying to complete my Submariner run. There's number 17. Yeah, I think this is Marie Severin also on the cover and the interior. Captain Marvel number 13. I think Frank Springer and John Romita did this on the cover anyway. I think Springer did the interiors. That's a great cover. And this comic was inspired by one of uh, Captain Strange Life's videos. Uh, I just love the the cover on this book. This is a lower grade, but I got a, a good price on it. This is the Barker, number four. It's an eBay purchase. Like I said, it's a little rough. Got some uh, stuff missing at the top and in the back. But the insides are real solid. Uh, I think the guy that did the artist was Klaus Nordling. Sort of looks like uh, Jack Cole, the guy that used to do Plastic Man for Quality Comics. Uh, I just love that cover. I got a really good deal on that. And last but not least, uh, Justice League of America number 33. I say this is like probably my all-time favorite title. 
I think I may be 30 issues shy of having the the whole run of the original series. This one's pretty high grade. It's got a, a date stamp right here. But otherwise, it's it's pretty good shape. Enemy from the Timeless World. And that's all I got for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the comments. Uh, all people who subscribed. And uh, I'll be watching some more of your stuff.